the secrets of 24 live another day. Well, we've just learned from Kiefer Sutherland what we can expect when Jack Bauer returns for the reboot of 24 on Fox in May. And we've also just learned that the fabulous actress, Yvonne Strahovski, will be co-starring with Kiefer. Yvonne starred for five seasons on NBC's Chuck and the last two seasons of Dexter. She's a great movie coming out on Friday called I Frankenstein. Yvonne, it's great meeting you. You too. Thank you for being here. We're going to talk about I Frankenstein. I can't actually uh, wait to hear about this. It, okay. it sounds a little creepy. It's uh, a little creepy. So we'll, we'll get into that. But first, you got I'm a huge 24 fan. I'm so happy that it's coming back and that you're in it. What's your role? What are you going to be doing? What can we expect from you? Well, without revealing too much, yes, as, usual, as usual, as uh, usual, I play Kate Morgan. Uh, she's a CIA agent and she is hunting Jack Bauer when we first meet her. Um, uh, we're shooting in London, so I'm off uh, actually Thursday morning to London to, to start that. And um, she has a little bit of a a past, I think uh, some emotional scarring that I, I get to play with here for this character that'll make it a little different from, from anything I've done before. And which fun, is fun to play, you enjoy that. I, I always hear actors love getting into the more complex character traits like that. Yeah, definitely. That's always part of the, the you know, the best part of it when you get to delve deep and, and figure out the layers of, of a character. So you played a CIA agent in, in Chuck. Mm -hmm. Are you a frustrated? CIA agent in real life? I mean, is this something, I mean, that's a great coincidence. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. I think um, the similarity obviously is there that we're, the two characters are CIA agents, but I think that's probably where the similarities stop, just based on the tone of each show. And Chuck was such a, uh, a show embedded in comedy right. and, you know, we had serious circumstances, but also very ridiculous out of the ordinary circumstances that, you know, it was fun, it was a fun show. 24 is so much more a, a serious, dramatic, yeah embedded in realism show. Not a lot of laughing going on uh, in 24. Yeah. And you mentioned the secrecy with the plot. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to give up anything. I won't torture you. <laughs> I, that's for the show. Do you even know the whole story? Did you see the whole arc? I know. Uh, you do know. I know. Well, I know enough to to have signed on to the project. Okay. <laughs> Let's say that much. That's fair enough. <laughs> a big buzz about I Frankenstein. Congratulations on that opening Friday. Just Thank so you. I have it right, Frankenstein caught in the middle of a centuries-old war between clans who are immortal. Uh, you're a scientist who works on reanimating the dead. Yes. Let's look at that. If Frankenstein was real, if he really did animate a human. Would it help you to study it? Well, yes, absolutely. But, Mr. Wessex, it would have to be over 200 years old by now. There would be nothing left but, but a few brittle bones. It's the first and only one of its kind, Dr. Wade. Who's to say how long such a subject might live? Uh, it looks fascinating, and you with the great Bill Nye there, but That's Aaron cool. Eckhart plays Frankenstein in, in the film. Should we be afraid, very afraid? Uh, I mean, you know, I think a lot of people are hearing the title of this movie and expecting some kind of remake of an old movie or, uh, you know, comic book, but we're sort of really re-jazzing the whole idea. So it's not, it's not a straight-up horror movie. It's this giant action with a bit of horror, lots of drama, lots of amazing fight scenes, and... Um, yeah, I, th I think people are going to be very surprised with, with what we've done with this one. I think everybody should run out and see it. It's something for everyone. Yes, definitely. Yvonne, a great pleasure to meet you and have you here. Thank you Thank so much. You. And make sure you check out Yvonne in I, Frankenstein, when it hits theaters on Friday.